This video is going to show you how to use the FET construction circuit construction kit DC to measure the voltage across an element and the current through an element. To measure the voltage across an element, you're going to need a voltmeter. And on the right hand side, there are all the meters, so you drag out the voltmeter. It's got a positive side and a negative side. The red is positive, the black is negative. To measure the voltage dropped by something, you put one probe on one part of it, part of the element, and the other probe on the other part of the element. This is saying negative 5 volts. That means that I've got my probes backwards. So the high energy is instead on the right, and the low energy is on the left. Now it says positive 5 volts. So this resistor is dropping 5 volts. So that's our voltage drop across the resistor. Now let's look at the light bulb. I'll just move the probes over to one part of the light bulb and another part of the light bulb. So as I'm looking at this, I know the current is going through the light bulb. You can see how I have it moving from one point to the other. So this is the voltage dropped across the light bulb, which in this case is 13 volts. All right, let's talk about measuring the current. So I'm going to take my voltmeter and drag it back where it came from. And I'll take this little device for measuring the current. Current is the flow, so the flow has to go through something. So I want to measure the flow through a wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this wire off. I'll click there on the connection, click on the scissors. I'll shorten the wire a little bit to begin with and move my little meter right here. And then I will lengthen the wire to connect it to the meter. And there we go. The wire, I'm sorry, the meter is showing me that half an amp is flowing through the meter. And therefore, because current's the same for everything in series, through the resistor and the light bulb right behind it because they're all in series with the device measuring the current. So current has to interrupt the flow and be part of it, and the voltage is measured across an element, and it does not have to disturb the circuit at all.